If you've been hearing the term AI agents more often and you're like, what the hell is this? And what does this mean for someone who just wants to use AI but doesn't want to learn to code? By the end of this video, you're going to see clearly how AI agents are different and how they are genuinely going to change your business for the better. So let's start with the basics, the large language models. These are the AI chatbots from Gemini, Claude, and ChatGPT. The basic setup of large language models are that you provide an input, which is your prompt, and then the LLM produces an output. These LLMs do not think. What they are is basically glorified robots that produce the best and most cohesive sounding response. So for example, let's say you ask ChatGPT to draft up a polite email requesting an informational meeting with a CEO. It will deliver something that's probably smoother, more concise and friendlier than you'd write yourself. But if you were then to go back and ask ChatGPT, hey, when or what time is my meeting with the CEO? The LLM cannot answer that because it has no idea. It physically cannot access your calendar. It has no clue what you do with the information that it outputs. Now, this is important because it means that LLMs have two really important traits. They have limited access, meaning it doesn't know your personal information unless you give it to it. And it's known as a passive AI. It waits for your prompts and input. It does not create them and it does not act on its own accord. Now, this is where we start talking about AI agents because we just made a massive leap forward. An AI agent doesn't just follow your instructions. It also decides on its own how to achieve those goals. For example, let's use that same example I gave you of drafting a request to meet with a CEO. The traditional LLM models are not going to know anything. Once that output is out there, it's not going to go know what you do with it. But the AI agents can now connect with things like your email so it can draft the letter to the CEO and it can also send it on your behalf. It can even do things like search the internet for the CEO's email. It can also connect to your calendar. So if and when the CEO writes back and says, sounds great, I'll meet with you next Thursday, it can put it into your calendar. And when you ask ChatGPT agent again, what time am I meeting the CEO? It'll pull up those details for you. Now, AI agents have taken an obvious step towards truly being autonomous. These tools can manage your projects, it can make decisions on your behalf, and it can adapt without really a ton of oversight. For non-techie VAs out there, what that means is that you will spend a lot less time tweaking prompts. The AI agent will get better over time as it gets to know you better. And it even has the potential to run parts of your freelance business on autopilot. So this is obviously a huge deal for VAs, let alone everyone in the world. And if this video is making you feel scared or threatened, this is where we bring ourselves back to reality because this is a call to action for virtual assistants like you and me. The future-proof VAs will be the ones who understand agents, use them regularly, and act as a human bridge between client goals and the AI's capabilities. In other words, you could be using AI agents as your virtual assistant. And if you have a junior assistant working under you, then you become the more strategic lead. So stay tuned to this channel because not only will I continue to do practical advice and tips and tools, but we're also going to heavily focus on how you can utilize AI to your advantage. Basically, I want this channel to be your new go-to place to future-proof your VA services. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on next week's video.